when your underwear is too tight? No, no. Just size up, girl. Just get get that large pair of underwear. Hi, hi there. Welcome to another update. This is about weeks seven and eight, and um, I'm just gonna be super real. I am like in the freaking thick of the first trimester. It feels like I'm never gonna come out the other side. I don't remember this being so hard with Zoe. I feel so much more sick this time and just so much more tired and like very defeated. Like it is just such a mental ba battle every day to continue living my life normally and to be active and to be peppy and to, oh, I just feel like it's getting in my head and like whatever I have to do, whether it's like get up and shower or like work for the day, just in my head, I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so that's where I'm at right now. And um, I'm actually feeling pretty good today. So hopefully it's gonna be a fun chat because I just have a lot that I wanna talk candidly about, but dang, I forgot how humbling it is to be pregnant. We're gonna start at week seven. I have written so nauseous. I just don't remember being this nauseous with Zoe, so I don't know if that means it's a boy. I always thought if you were more nauseous, it was a girl. So I have no idea. Also, I have really bad intuition about those things. I was like 100% convinced that Zoe was a boy. And my mom had a dream, and my mother-in-law thought it was a boy, and I was like, it's a boy, like unquestionably. And it was a girl, so I was like, oh, cool. So I have zero intuition, motherly intuition. So I, I have no idea. We both think it's a boy, but so it's probably a girl. <laughs> anyway, so nauseous. Um, as far as cravings for week seven, still freaking craving hot scrambled eggs. There was one day that I had two eggs for breakfast and then I was nauseous and like around three, I had two eggs and then I had another two eggs. So I just had like eggs all day long. Does that mean I'm deficient in something? I don't know. Um, I also wrote down, I'm crying. I'm just crying all the time. Like I'm not sad, I'm just, I just have a lot of feelings. I just have so many feelings. Like my my in-laws, they were talking about their anniversary or their marriage or something and I was just like, I was just bawling. I was like, <laughs> that's so beautiful, you're in love. <sighs> <sighs> and if something sad, like if something bad happens and I see someone post about loss or grief or anything on the internet, I'm just like, that's so horrible. I just have like a lot of feelings right now. By the way, I did not mean to wear the same color as my chairs. I hit a wall every day around two. That's not, that's not much of the day <laughs> to get stuff done. So at two, I'm just like, like I can't keep my eyes open. Like one eye is open and I'm just trying to like do anything. Or if I'm playing with Zoe, I'm like, uh-huh, woo, you wanna go read a, like I'm just like a zombie, like cannot, keep my eyes open. We went out to dinner with friends the other Friday and I was just like, like I, I couldn't, I had no personality, I had no energy, I was just a mess. So we told my husband's family, which was really fun. Um, I think I was eight weeks, three days, so now we're getting into week eight. Sorry, I need to pop my back. I think my mother-in-law was like, I just, I just love family and I love my grandkids and that's been really worthwhile and Dan was like, do you wanna have more grandkids or something like that? See, I don't know, but it was cute. It was so fun, so fun to tell people. And so that was out. Then I got my scan. Oh my gosh, I gotta show you my scan, hold on. Okay, you know what I was talking about? I've been like pretty fearful this whole pregnancy. I was freaking out. I had our scan on Monday, so I was eight weeks, three days. Oh my gosh, I was like having heart palpitations, I was sweating, I was just like having a panic attack. I was I was so worried because I was excited, but I was also like, oh my gosh, what if this whole thing isn't real? Like, what if we go there? Because that's how we found out about the miscarriage before Zoe is, I just, it wasn't on my radar at all. I was stoked, I was like over excited about this pregnancy, and we go in for that first scan, like no thought in the world that there ever could be something wrong. And I just remember that silence in 
and the, the tech was just like so silent and I was like, this doesn't look great and I don't know. I just remembered that and it all came back. And I was like crying the whole way I was driving there. I was just, I was so scared. I was just so scared it was gonna be bad. And I was just terrified all of a sudden to walk in there. Anyway, it was fine. I was shaking, I was shaking. Poor Dan was like, babe, it's gonna be okay. And even if it's not, like we can do this. And he's so great, I love him. Anyway, here's my little baby blob. Can you see it? I don't never know if these things show up right on the camera. Okay, so I know it looks like a blob, but that's baby on its back. So it's like a little gummy bear with, I don't know which one's best, like, like it's like like this. It's like, ah! Like it has a big head and then little, little arm and leg buds. I think it's so cute. So the heart rate, heart rate was 178. Does that mean anything? Does that mean it's a boy or a girl? I don't know. This was so great. And I'm measuring right on track because I tracked my cycle last time. I don't know, does that bother you when I say cycle? I know some people like hate the word cycle. Cycle. I tracked my cycle. So spot on, due date is November 12th, which is what all of my apps said anyway, so yeah. The first time, I had no idea when we conceived. Now, like I know exactly when we conceived. And it's just funny, it's just funny. Like I could recommend to you the piece of lingerie that will get you, get you a baby. No, <laughs> that's probably too much information. Anyway, let's just talk about how freaking different this time is around. I just, my heart, you guys, is so much softer towards having a baby. Like I, I, the first time with Zoe, I was like, ugh, this is lame. Like why do people love being pregnant? This is the biggest con of my life. Like I don't, I'm not glowing. I don't feel, you know, hopeful and just magical. I was like, everything hurts. This sucks, my body's changing, this is weird. I feel like crap all the time. Like I was just kind of PO'd about it. It just, none of it made sense and I had a really hard time postpartum. It wasn't until probably 10 months later that I was like, oh, babies are the best. So it's been a while. So this time, I feel like I love this baby already. I feel like I know, I know what it's gonna bring. And I, even Dan is like, Dan puts his hands around my belly and, and, it's just cool. I feel like I'm being a lot kinder to myself and that is my main focus for this pregnancy is to have a really good mental space for all of the changes that are gonna happen with my body and it's not just physical, you know, like your, your emotions get crazy and you just are able to do less and for someone like me, that's just a really hard blow. I feel like less of a person. I really felt like I was less of, of a person when I was pregnant and postpartum, like I just, it just took everything from me, but it doesn't. I mean, it just, it gives so much. So I feel like my mindset is so different and I'm trying to be really different about how I approach my body. I'm weighing myself less. I'm not as psychotic about food. Yeah, my headspace is, is super different and I really, really love that. I'm learning to take, sorry, what is it with pregnancy? Just I'll be like, oh. <laughs> It'll be like a puke burp, but I'm not puking. I'm super nauseous like all the time, but I haven't puked. Oh my gosh, my boobs hurt so bad. They hurt so bad this week. And all I want to wear is like really loose, comfortable things. Like to hell with tight jeans and things that aren't even just like, like everything needs to be like cozy, soft, like fuzzy pillows need to be around me at all times. I'm just like, I've turned into an old lady just overnight. I just, I can't be bothered with anything that's uncomfortable ever. And this has also led me to order a bunch of clothes, <laughs> which I'm actually really happy about because last time I had this weird thing about not ordering maternity clothes or nursing clothes. Like I nursed for over a year and I only bought two nursing bras and I had two nursing tanks. Gross, gross. And they were all from Target and they're all just like rags now. They're like, they're totally falling apart. But I was just so resistant to the whole process that Part of me was like, well, I'm not gonna spend any money doing this like maternity clothes and nursing bras thing because it's just gonna be a phase and I wanna get back to my normal body. That just tells you like how I just wasn't flexible and like your body's gonna change and it's okay. It doesn't mean it's gonna be forever. So that's why I'm really trying to embrace this time. So I've already ordered like 
a bunch of stuff off of Instagram, like some cute nursing bras that don't work. I'm gonna have to return them. But still, I'm going for it. And just buying bigger things because last time in my head I was like, if I have to size up, that means I'm fat. Mm, no, that means you're pregnant. Everyone who's pregnant gets bigger. It's normal. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're a fat loser. So just get out of your head, Joanna. Oh. And I also thought that ordering maternity clothes, I don't know, I think I had a friend somewhere that was like, I didn't order anything maternity my whole time. And I thought, oh, well, I'm gonna be like that too. Why, why? I wanna be cute and feel good. So I, I just remember squeezing, squeezing and everything. And that just makes you feel so bad about yourself when your underwear is too tight. No, no, just size up girl. Just get, get that large pair of underwear. Just anyway, so I've done a lot of shopping already. I'm really excited for like dressing the bump in the summer and just like being comfortable and just embracing the process. I think that's it. Are we there? I think I know what I'm gonna do for pregnancy announcement too, but that'll be later. Okay, we're probably bored. Let's do a belly shot and move on with our lives. Here's the belly. Um, definitely still there. I love it. I am just all about it because guess what? I'm pregnant. I'm gonna have a nice little belly. I'll lift up my shirt too. I have to say, people on YouTube are really annoying sometimes. I've watched probably every pregnancy update that exists on YouTube because I just, last time I was really obsessed with them. You just wanna know what other people are feeling like, you know? I swear, everyone, every single person, I get it, but every, everyone is like this. Okay, well here's my, Here's my eight week baby bump. You know, I'm not really showing yet. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm like, I can tell that you're sucking in. Like, I can tell. Everyone can tell when you're sucking in. So like, just, I don't know. So yeah, here's my eight week baby bump. Just kidding. Here's my eight week baby bump. I think I'm carrying higher than I was last time. Last time I feel like, you know when you suck your stomach in and you're pregnant, you can't suck it all the way in, you know? Like there's a part that doesn't suck in. Well, I feel like last time everything, that like hard part was underneath my belly button. Now I kind of feel like it's like up here. Like I feel like the hard part is higher. So, <sighs> okay. There's the belly. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I really can't believe anyone would watch this, but um, thanks for entertaining me, appeasing me. Um, that's not the right, neither of those are the right words. Oh, I'm out of breath. Pregnancy is owning me, so um, if you're pregnant too, good luck. <laughs> good luck, we got this. I'll see you next week or in a few weeks for another update. Bye. Mwah, 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 mwah.